Good morning. Man, it's been crazy weather. <laughs> there was like three days of straight rain. And then yesterday was nice. And I came out and did a little work. I'll show you that in a minute. But man, the grass is coming up nice. Check it out. And I overseeded this the other day before the rain hit. I still got to clean this mess up. But over here, I've been doing some math. I got my elevation all figured out for every one of my pillars. There's one buried down there. I got to get that out. So, oh, and I seeded this too before the rain hit. So hopefully that grass will grow. So some of these take two blocks, some take three to get it up to the elevation that I need. Already got that all figured out. Got it marked. So that string is how high they got to be for this deck coming out of the cabin with a seven inch step down into the mudroom and then there'll be another seven inch step down coming onto the deck. Uh, the deck is, the deck is gonna be all of this going that way out to here. This all the way back to that piling is gonna be my mud room. So that'll be a little bit higher than that. So I got cinder blocks for all of these in the back of the truck. So let me get this junk unloaded I'll get the cinder blocks laid out. I got it wrote down inside. That way I know how high I have to go. And we get some concrete in there if it don't rain because it's looking like it's gonna. All right. Oh, and I've been up almost every day in the afternoon at Robin Crystal's over at On The Hill Homestead. I'm hoping they start getting some videos put out soon. They're just, there's a lot of logistics going on with those people. They're trying to get everything all lined up. So, been up there helping them get some stuff going. And they've been doing a little filming. Hopefully they'll find some time and start getting some videos out. Back in a minute. All right, so I got all my cinder blocks up so I can get measurements for rebar. And like this cinder block, I got to cut to fill that gap. That one, I'm just going to form up with a piece of plywood around it. It's only got to come up like three eighths of an inch and the same with that one. This one's only got to come up maybe three quarters of an inch. Or form around that thinking if I have enough scrap piece of cinder block which I should I'll cut that one that one I got to cut that one I got to cut and that one I got to cut and I don't have enough cinder blocks I don't think how did I do that math wrong <laughs> oh man I think I screwed up on cinder blocks anyways I'm not going all the way to the very top like on this one over here I'm trying to stay out of the grass seed uh, like this one I'll fill up to the top of this and then I'll put this one on later and fill it full of concrete the rebar will come all the way up those two I got to form up but I'm only going to pour it up to probably right here just to lock it in and then I'll be able to form those two up which is little pieces of plywood around it and pour it all the way to the top same thing with that one and those I got to cut but I may not I might have to pick up more cinder blocks which is fine and I think it's gonna rain it's cooling off pretty quick so let me go cut some rebar and uh, I'm gonna cut this with I got a cut off wheel for my grinder angle grinder I'm gonna use that so I can get it as close to the top as possible Back in a minute.
Man, it's crazy windy. That means there's a front coming in. All right, so I got all these up, all them up as far as I can go. Right now, I think, I don't think that block goes on there. <laughs> I don't think that goes there. Now, why did I set that on there? Oh, let me move that. Okay. That's as far as I can go with it right now. What I was going to do was run a 2x6 rim board across here, standing up. I can nail my joists to it with joist hangers, hook them into the building, and that would be good to go. I was going to do that all the way around, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a 2x8 pressure treated. I'll lay it flat on here. I'm going to get some J bolts to come up and I can bolt it down to those all the way across. Still put my rim board up on it and I can put my joist on that. So, can't pour concrete yet because I got to get some J bolts to put in here. Then I got to form all these up so they're all the same height. Same thing with those. That's why I like that one sticking up higher than that one. And that one only needs to come up like three-eighths of an inch. So, uh, I got to form all those up, pour concrete in them. Give me a little bit of a project, but I think it'll work out perfect. All right, and I think it's getting ready to rain. It's getting dark over yonder. But man, it's beautiful out. I love this weather. And I think it's going to rain tomorrow. It's crazy. It's, it's like... We get a day of sunshine and then two days of rain, a day of sunshine, two days of rain. And I've been watching the weather for the 7th, 8th, and 9th of July. It's supposed to be sunny. Because I want to go out in the North Main Woods again for two nights on a lake. <laughs> I'm hoping I get to go. Alright, so that's going to be it for today with that project. I did want to pour the concrete, I have it right there in the back of the truck. Now I'm just going to roll it back in the truck. But I want to get some J-bolts first. Okay. I did a little bit more work. This is coming along nice. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Alright. Well, thanks for following along. I'm going to head up to Over the Hill Homestead. Nope on the hill homestead with rob and crystal and we're gonna try to finish up their deck today and get that done oh that'll be nice they'll be happy with that they're happy so far okay see you bye